Honestly, I move around a lot, but since my sixth grade year, I have been living in Madison County. Um, <clears throat> but recently, I recently some stuff has been going on, and we had some trouble trying to figure out where we could live, me and my mama, and so now we live in Athens with my friend Sunny there. Um, and I still go to Madison County Schools though, um, and I'm hoping to graduate from Madison County because I'm really hoping to get into astrophysics. <laughs> um, I'm not really good with the life story thing. I came from Columbia, South Carolina to Athens, Georgia, and actually I'm from California. So I went, really? Yeah. Cool. It's probably nice to meet somebody. <laughs> but um, I left a domestic violence relationship. And he happened to live, like, right next door to where I lived. So, and, like, my house was back house. This was the middle house. There was, like, no way to avoid. I couldn't just go out my door and walk left and go down the street. So, well... I ended up leaving him and I found some friends in Arkansas where I, I was thinking I could go and stay. It lasted about a month and not a good thing. <laughs> where we're living, where we're living is good for the short term, but mom and I are getting more and more, I guess, irritated with the people we live with. Her girlfriend is quick to anger and violent towards herself um, when she does get angry and upset. And Sunny is kind of, she needs help, like physically, and I understand that, but sometimes she's a little overbearing with it. And she asks me to do every something every five minutes. Mom and I are getting tired of it. So we're hoping we can go live with my mom's boyfriend. But if that doesn't work out, we're not, mom's already said we're not staying in Georgia. So um, we're probably going to be living in a shelter somewhere if we can't stay with John. My friend picked me up in Columbia. And it lasted, it, it was two nights. It lasted two nights. The first night I slept on the couch. And the next night I didn't want to sleep with him. So I slept on the couch. And the, that, that following day he threw me out. That's where I ended up homeless. That night was my first night homeless. But mom and I are trying to get out, get away from Florida and Georgia. We know too many people that don't like us and it's causing a lot of drama. And that's one of the biggest issues we had because of all the drama that was going on. We couldn't find anywhere to live. And now it's just, we have to look over our shoulders everywhere we go to make sure that there's not another person trying to, st trying to cause problems. Um, but other than that, uh, Mom and I are basically living day by day at this point. And so I had, it, I had probably walked for about a good three hours. And, um, it was like, I think about almost 12, 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, there was this bar open. I'd been sober, I think, at the time for almost 10 years. And it was like, I wanted, I just had that panic, that freaking out attack, like, because I wanted to go in there and get drunk. I didn't, I just wanted to give up. Oh. The only class I really worry about is my seventh period because um, that's the last period of the day and I leave 20 minutes um, into the class every single day because I have to ride um, 
one of the early showing buses to get to um, a Clark County bus to take me home. I had probably sat there, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours almost, and this car comes by, and the lady had her stopped in the middle of the road, rolled down her window, and has her inside her car light on. She goes, are you okay? And I said, no. And she goes, come on, get in my car, it's, you know. Let's talk, see what's going on. My school life, for a good bit, for most of the year, I was completely unmotivated. I barely paid attention in class. But in the last cup, in the last month or so, I realized that the mindset I was in, which was, I'm moving anyway, so what's the point? That's not gonna help me in any way. It's just gonna give me more um, recovery work to do at the next school and I've been picking back up. I've turned in all, almost everything I could make up. I'm doing a lot of extra credit work and letting the teach, showing the teachers that I really want to get done and I really want to do this. And they've been helping me get, get do things that could help bring my grade up. We were driving down the road and we were, it was a good distance that I had walked from this motel. I didn't realize how I mean, it was like a five minute drive, so I walked pretty far. And anyway, I look over, and she's got an AA tip on her keychain from Alcoholics Anonymous. And I've been sober like quite a long time. And here I was wanting to go get drunk at that bar. And I said, God, if you could fucking hear me, help me. Because just help me, because like I'm about to go screw up. Here's somebody from AA shows up in the middle of the road and helps me. I think I like myself, you know, where I'm at now. It's just, but I want to get to where I want to be, where, where I'm like, I have a place with my name on the lease. My name's not on the lease where I'm at. So, I have no paper stating that I live there. So I kind of want to go to where, I mean, like the electric bill's in my name, where the water bill's in my name, and where the wind is in my name, where I'm the boss. <laughs> you know, it's my place. So that's why I'm out here doing this. Every little bit, I put it in the can. I might get something to eat, but I save, I save, I save every day. No, 